Okay, so in this video, we're going to be learning how to code and learn about arithmetic, plotting, and functions. First, let's start with arithmetic because it's the most simplest. But before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, so first we're going to do some simple arithmetic, like one plus one. So. The slash slash means it doesn't, it, the, the computer doesn't know what to say. Anything after slash slash, the computer just ignores. So like if I do slash slash, then is bad. Th this, it won't matter. So here we're doing one plus one. So here, we can call the function one space, because we need social spacing, plus one. This, this arithmetic code is very simple, because it just adds one to one. And shift enter, you get two. But in computer, there is no x. x symbol means variable, so there is no x. Instead, we use a star here. So we do two, so in this instance, we do six times, wait, what's times? Six times eight, no, six times two, which will give us 12. And here we have six divided by two. This obviously equals to three, but if we do six divided by four, which is 1.5, it will only give us one. This is because we gave it integers. It, if you give the computer an integer, it has to give you an integer back. So to solve this problem, we add point zero. This is a decimal that equals to this six, and look what we do now, 1.5. So, so for these hard ones where it's not possible by integers, we use point zero, or known as a double. Here we have defining a function. This this line of code or cell defines uh, defines x. X is a variable or unknown number, which x is unknown number, which means it can be anything. From one to like infinity or negative infinity, if that even thing. So here we have um decided that x is gonna equal to one. So um so we, here we have the simple function x plus one. Now you may be wondering what is x plus one. X is one plus one, then it will equal two. Oh wait, no, I need that. Now it will equal 2, because x is equivalent to 1, so this is the name, it can be any number, but we we'll use x because it's easy, plus 1 equal 2, because x is equal to 1. We can change this number to be like 2 or something, so you equal to 3, and we can also do x plus x plus 1, which we call this function twice. So it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3. Now we're going to be learning about functions. functions. So function is something when you give it a input and gives you an output. Now we're going to show you some examples of functions. So look, this function is Iron Man, Tony Stark, Captain America, Steve Roger, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange. So this, this function is basically Given the fake name to the its real name, so this function is converting Iron Man into Tony Stark because Iron Man is the fake name, and then Tony Stark has the real name. Same thing here. Harry Potter goes to Gryffindor. Harry McCrillin goes to Hufflepuff. Ronald Weasley goes to Dif Gryffindor, and Hannah Alboto Albot goes to Hufflepuff. So the, this function is basically sorting our students into their correct house. So these are some more interesting functions and how to code them. So the first is the the string function or the same function. In this function, we name the name. The function name is same. So and then string just means like line of text. So if we type same, which is the name of the function, put brackets and then put apple. When we submit this code, when we submit this, it will give us apple. We can change this to anything. So instead of hello, we can change it to uh, the cow. The cow. Now it'll give us the cow back. That's a thing with functions. So you can name this anything. 
Da. Da. <laughs> like that, it will give you this back. <laughs> now, the string fun the um now it's the identity function. Identity function is you give it a number, it gives you the same number back. So it's not really interesting. So if we had identity 0.1, we submit it. We submit it, it just gives us one. We type like uh 89 give us 89 we type this number it goes the number so that's the identity function and like that again so that's the identity function now but that's not really interesting it's just giving us the same number back but now we're doing this this function it's as an add one function you can call it anything but in this case it's add one this is giving us return x plus one which means when when we set something to x, it will plus one to it and give us the answer. So in this case, we call the function which is add one because it's the name. Then put zero zero in bracket. So this means zero zero point zero is x, and then this function basically gives us x plus one. So we do that and call the function upon it. It will give us one. If we change this to five, it should give us six. It's just plus in one. You can also change this function to like three. So when you do that, when I put five again, it should give us eight. You can say this is basically calling the function twice because of add one and then add one again. Anyway, but no, this is just the name. So even if it's like add three, it still works because that's just the name of the function. You can change the name by just changing it like. Add three, then you have to submit the code again and change these to add three. Add three, so it should give you six. Because it's basically so x is zero and it's adding adding three twice. Because that's what the function is going to do. This is basically the same thing, but it's adding it three times, so it should give us nine. Now we're gonna be learning about plotting. Okay, so now we're gonna to explain to you what coordinates are and the address of each point so there's the x-axis is the horizontal line or this thing this thing here and the y-axis is the vertical one here each point has a name or address the point the address for this is two two so it's two from home two from zero there and two up so there and then you combine it here so that and then negative one negative three so you go negative three so you go one you go here and you go negative three so here so that's the point uh negative two negative four you go negative four here and you go negative two which is like down two so it's here so each point on a coordinate system as a it has an address defined by two numbers the x act the x value and the y value I'll show you how to plot some points here. So this is plotting. What do you think's y x? What do you mean it's y x? <laughs> I'm showing him here, you stupid dude. Don't, yes. <laughs> Don't you have to do it here? Why are you doing it on the code? <laughs> There's literally so much more clear here. Right. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> right, you can literally do it here. It's literally superior. Look, this is a point, and this is the, when x equal to thing and y equal to thing. How does he know x is always one? Well, how does he know? How does he know it's y plus one if he thinks y one x one? Oh, that's what I'm going to explain to you, dingus. What are you, dingus? I don't know. Can you come spot? Wait, this is yes. false. false. So, so here we're going to plot some points. So, oh, x is always first before y because it just shows how the way things is. So here we have x one and y one. This means x is point 0.1 and y is point 0.1. See, this x is this vertical line, so look, as shown, it is 1, and then the width, the height is 1, or y. So this is a point. A point is just a single dot, but you can add more points. If you have two points or above, you can make a line. A line is two or more points joined together by a line. So in this case, it is point 0.1 and 2. As you can see here, x1 and y1 is here, because x, y1 are here. And then 2, uh, it's like 2 and 2 here. This can also be changed like this. This can be like 2, 
This can be like three. This can be uh, one. And this can be two. Two, yeah. So now, look, two, two. So two, two, and three, one. Th th these numbers can go to decimals as well, or negative numbers. Negative numbers is just a tiny bit trickier because you have two sides. So like this. So you can make it negative two, negative two, like this. And you'll see it goes down here. So negative two, negative two. This can also be decimals, like this. Point five. So it'll give you like this. So, so uh, it'll give you two two, which is here, and one point five, one point five. X is three. Oh, I mean three point five for X, so it's here. This is three point four, so this is three point five, and one point five is here, so it's here. You can also add negative, negative decimal numbers, but it's literally the same concept. So. Look, negative decimal here. So that's how you plot some, uh, plot the, plot the stuff.